is the planarian in my dress you can as it um okay, I don't know. My daughter from me, mm, that dated 2014, which now 2023, about eight, nine years ago, been stuck, been subdued, silent, oppressed as a prisoner in my home. Uh, because of human greed, this pollution and corruption, this systematic abuse, systemic abuse. Block the gifts of God to do the service. To practice religious freedom, number one, to receive support from missionaries and religious places and people to supply practical support, voluntary services, medication, etc., and rest, particularly for single parents. Child minding is too expensive, and the church is, the church missionaries are nowhere to be found to support young mums who are in a domestic abuse or who have had um, to separate from the man in the family who is not behaving as a man. She has no one to turn to. I know because I've uh, experienced that myself. Uh, they do help, some churches help the homeless people for a shelter or for some food to eat. Uh, so the church is being limited and blocked because the government does not give it the license and does not give it the. Uh, the resources and the capacity to make a channel, to make a route, to make the support system of supplying the community what it means, and to be part of the community, rather it is shut up or blocked. So God's gifts are not being used to the best ability. Then there is the... Um, third aspect of God's gifts and God's grace is the special story, in other words, a vision for a goal, for an inspiration to make progress. Now, you have to be a businessman to do that. You have to be a qualified professional. You have to have gone to university or college or been uh, a graduate to have a license uh, for this special celebrity treatment or public profile treatment or anything to do with the, the cur fulfilling the curriculum for, grad uh, for grades and for making a CV uh, 
to find for work to find work and if that is not available if that line of work is not available then you're no one special when you're unemployed you're no one special you're not even treated as an an uh, as a adult you're treated as a animal or worse some type of a monster because you're unemployed and this is terrible that uh, adults are being treated like children or like animals uh, to be controlled uh, and treated as no one special so that the God gifts are blocked I've got a my diary here it says you're wonderfully made taken from Psalms 139 verse 14 I praise you God for I am fearfully and wonderfully marvelously made by your work in my mother's womb my soul knows you and you know my soul that means the breath the spirit is the personality the soul is the breath the ability to be alive and uh, this is from the gestation, gestation period probably when the baby is four weeks old or younger by four weeks can feel pain in the mother's womb or younger. What is a woman? A woman has a chromosome Y and the other chromosome. Um, that means she has uh, the ability to her eggs fertilize. She has menstruating periods and cycles, men do not. She has the ability to birth, men do not. She has wider hips than men. And she's supposed to have broader hips. Uh, so this is the definition of a woman. And uh, um, Did not have her mum tell her all this. She did not have me. Uh, they've taken away her mum. They've taken away her parental rights and they've taken away my daughter's birth rights. Um, which is so sad. Because of property and they, they believe that they have done the right thing that they are justified to take away my family from me and do a house arrest and accuse me of hurting her because she fell over and had a bruise in her arm uh, and I broke her fall by ca catching her fall um, she was going to get a bruise anyway um, the overreaction system uh, the misappropriation of the misrepresentation of my mental health label, which was all clear, all forced on me, and even then it was all clear, but they insisted to demonise me in, in their perverted order to take to separate child from pa parents. And the actual real reason why I could not take care of my daughter anymore is my spinal problems that had injured carrying her bicycle, carrying her heavy things, not driving a car. That's the actual re reason, not the mental health reason. But they twisted 
of it and said it was something else, which is horrifying. Um, a green troll, a green goblin, gobbled us up through the NHS mental health services that I would never want to use again. So a any counselling now uh, that is available in Hertfordshire is funded, financially supported by the same, probably by the same people, which is how uh, they lie to me by saying that Mind Network is an independent charity, but the, the, the money, most of the money they receive is from the same government that has taken my daughter away from me, which is disgusting. Uh, so that's how I'm being lied to. Because it's the same path of witchcraft. This is what I mean by human greed and pollution and corruption for money that they would do this to children and poor families. Uh, and uh, treat me as if I don't exist. Well, what's for what, what's four contacts per year? What's six contacts per year? Or even more? Nothing. They've only offered me four and I asked for about five years to increase contact. And finally, when they were about to increase it after five years, I said, no, the damage has already been done. No, thank you very much. Idiocity. After waiting so long and asking for so long, and now that the damage has been done, what good is it now for you to increase contact? So, which made me very angry, which turned my daughter against me, it, which had sent my ex-dead husband of 10 years and his family to redevelop and my daughter's growth of undevelopment to rearrange everything so that I don't recognise her anymore and say this is not my daughter anymore. Her mind, her personality, her body, everything about her I don't recognise anymore. As if she's not my daughter as if I've never given birth to her. And it's, 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 they've made it as if I'm the one who's dead and her husband and my ex-husband who actually is dead is not dead. That's how they've made it, to punish me for my ex-husband's death, which, again, is not my fault, but he designed his own suicide because he's a pedophile. And, uh, of course, I, 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 because I have no evidence, but I'm hoping one day to find that evidence, um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm being punished for everything while he has his dignitary death and self-designed suicide, the evil man, and uh, uh, they, congr they, they congratulate Children's Social Services for forcing my daughter to love her abuser and to live in the abuser's home um, by an arrangement to take me to the mental health services and drug me up to my eyeballs. Uh, Obviously, that was being overdosed, and the side effects were ter terrible, uh, which actually stopped my menstruation for more than six years to come back to normal. And so this is how I have been sacrificed for my daughter. And she doesn't even realise that even, even at age 17, and when she knows the truth, she will probably be shocked. Because I've never told her. So, returning to the subject of uh, this hypocrisy of the authority, this hardened, tough exterior <coughs> of legalistic. I've had the eardrop going into my throat for strange reasons. <coughs> legalistic self
self-righteous fulfillment of whatever they wanted to achieve has been achieved. For my daughter, as if as if I don't exist. So it's worse than slavery. It's uh, kidnap. It's worse than slavery. It's torture and torment. And it definitely goes against human rights and they practiced it more than two or three hundred years backdated from today to two thousand years slavery. Sold. Children sold, adults sold as slaves to be soldiers or to be something else. So how I have been sacrificed. Now I have said I want to dis I'm ready to disown my daughter and she has already disowned me probably and probably going to be our last conversation telephone talk. I don't know, it's, it's Ellen's decision, but she does not know me and I am not allowed to tell her exactly what I am recording here. I'm not allowed to say anything, so they've blocked my freedom of speech. To reveal the truth to my daughter. Because they've purchased her. They've purchased this blood. She's not a chair. She's not an item that they can purchase. She's a human being. And yet they're treating my family as if she's some type of an item that they can purchase. So uh, I was very angry, outraged. And I said, well, she's probably going to disown me. I might as well disown her too. And said, so I don't know her. I don't know who you are. Um, because you've all turned against me. You've all turned a blind eye. You've all punished and blamed me for somebody else's crimes against humanity. You're all a pervert and obscurance of justice. You're all... Uh, uh, threatening my life when it should be the other way around that your life is threatening and uh, so that's what I actually want to say and um, I cannot say it because I want to wish my daughter best wishes because I love her, I love her and I did love her um, all the time I took care of her she's never had behavioural problems she never had emotional attachments Disorder. She never had any trauma to go through um, until they took her from me. She was a normal, happy little girl, and then they took her from me, they took her away from God, they tortured her emotionally and turned her into some type of a robot, they messed up her head on indoctrination of, of the education system. To ensla enslave her, which is a curse and a condemnation of my daughter, I knew was coming because of her love for her father. I have never in my life blocked my daughter's natural love for her father. The natural inclination, I have never assumed or guessed or been felt suspicious that he abused her until after the event of him doing his own suicide, design suicide. That's when I put the puzzle pieces together and realised what he has actually done to abuse my daughter that now no longer belongs to me. It belongs to him, which, which has made me very sick. And uh, so he has that power, he has that authority over my daughter because he had sexually abused her or he had attempted to sexually abuse her and felt guilty for it during the time that they had rubbed me up to my eyeballs and persecuted me and used my neighbour against me to make my husband rape me during domestic abuse. And after my divorce, I left him. The same stalker 
is still stalking me with his connections of others I have to be careful with, that I cannot be in control or the boss. It always has to be these evil people, no people, that have to be the boss and the control of my life. It's my life, and yet I have to be bowed down in sorrow and grief. When my spirit is grieved and the Holy Spirit is grieved for being treated like a 95-year-old, denied medication for the longest time, um, epidural doesn't last for no more than two weeks, denied regular treatment, physiotherapy to the house is only four times a year, which the government has limited, it used to be six times a year, and it should be more regularly than that to have a nurse check my spine, uh, to have uh, regular routine um, things before the pandemic of COVID-19. All of that through the NHS had been limited and blocked by the corrupt government to say the NHS is no longer free for the sick and the crippled and the disabled. You have to pay for it privately. So the privatization of everything is a condemnation on the people as much as they condemn our children in the education system. It's, it's a horror. Um, I am against the majority. If I could, I'd go into Jeremy Corbyn's face and say, I want to oh, totally remove that sign that says for the many, not the few. It's for the few, not the many. Because the minority is the one who is targeted for the abuse, not the majority. They are already established and they are already greedy for more of their evils and their horrors. <clears throat> so, I have already prepared, I got ready to say, go away to my daughter, uh, if she doesn't want to answer the simple question why she's ignoring me and why she's confused uh, what she doesn't understand about trauma uh, what she doesn't understand or what she doesn't want to understand if she doesn't listen if she doesn't respond, then I know that that will probably be the last telephone talk with my daughter. If she does respond, then she will have another chance to return to Jesus, to return to God, slowly, gradually. I've put these points across before I go into detail. Number one, God has taken my daughter's place to sacrifice. That makes me very happy that if my daughter has to feel any, any problem, any sacrifice, Jesus has suffered more for her than she would ever suffer. But God has God sent God's only the heavenly parent had sent one and only heavenly God, actual God, the creator, child, to planet Earth to be a hero to humans. So the creator is a hero to the humans. To take our place so that we can be adopted as children of God. Not to be human gods and human goddesses. So to take your place, similar to giving a blood donation or an organ donation, but it's far greater than that. The entire body, the entire soul. Say no one can do a disrespectful copycat because God is the, the greatest cat of, all, of them all. The lion and the lamb in the book of Revelation. So, 
God has taken your place. God is the same for you. God will see that when you have your cross and your problems and burdens, to make it lighter and less heavier. Less burdensome and less heavy. Make your burdens light when you give your burdens to Jesus. God was buried with Jesus. God was raised from the dead and death did not hold Jesus. All in one, not one for all in Jesus. So we're all the same and we're also, there also is one unique one who is Jesus and who also helps us to identify the unique me. There is none like me, not even an identical twin, if I had an identical twin. That's the glory and the beauty of God through Jesus. To live in Christ, to sit or stand in authority of Christ, still to be still and to rest in Christ, to have a legal representative in Christ, and to have the needs met to survive and to enjoy life by a full supply and support in Christ. That's the school. That's the reward for my daughter returning to Jesus Christ. It has to be a gradual relationship where she once again realizes my love, realizes God's gifts and grace, so that she can do, she can share in God's jobs and services. She can share in that supply and support. God to the orphans and the outcasts, and the God's gift of making progress and a goal and an inspiration, not to be blocked by a religious freedom, those three aspects. So step by step, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about eleven or twelve of these gifts, spiritual gifts as well as physical gifts. To keep my daughter's mind and body into the growth and development that God wants her to be, to her full potential. God says, God is the potter and I am the clay to be made in the way God wants, not in the way the human being wants it to be. So God is the healer of my daughter's heart, her mind, and body. Uh, um, if she allows God, if she allows me, if she hates God and she becomes an atheist, then she's going to hate me. So I have said, what the, what I said, what the dysfunctional, there's no funk here, it's all dysfunctional, and I want nothing to do with it. I've had enough problems for the past, 16 or 17 years of my daughter's life and the government hasn't made it any easier by their intervention. If anything, they've emotionally crippled her, destroyed her personality, destroyed her character, destroyed my personality, destroyed my character. And what can, what can be the result? And the answer is a generational curse on the slaves condemned in this system of abuse in opposition to God's people that are cured from many generational curse God tells them to multiply and have children lots of children according to Genesis chapter 22 verse 16 to 18 so that's God's plan and purpose in my daughter's life and in my life I, I wanted to have more children, and if I cannot, then I could adopt, because I had an unhappy marriage, and the government is getting in my way on my social platform, forcing me to get involved with politics and, the, and something else that I want nothing to do with. But I have no choice in the matter. 
So yesterday was my daughter's birthday and it felt as a condemnation on the day that she was born, which is on the 24th of March. The same as the day I was born, which was the 15th of September. And the same day, which was a Thursday. Because of that grief, the grievance of the Holy Spirit, that neither of my parents loved each other. Both of them were a fake fraud. So, as a reward to orphans and outcasts, there is a new date of birth given to us in Jesus. Jesus was born probably in the summer, not in the winter, as we know it to be Christmas, to rejoice in the hallelujah and be glad for this. That Jesus was crucified and suffered more than any of us. For my sake and for my daughter's sake. Abraham and Sarah, as an example to all God's people, old couple assumed their child would find that their one and only child I think it was Jacob which means laughter they assumed that Jacob the young boy will find the animal suitable to be sacrificed however they are mistaken Because God has decided to show them the future 500, 600, or 7 years ahead of time. Did they time travel? They saw Jesus Christ in the future and they saw the Lamb to be sacrificed to all. And it said, God explained that this was going to be Christ in the future on the cross. And Abraham and Sarah were glad, satisfied, and relieved that it's not going to be their one and only son. Is it Isaac or Jacob? <laughs> I think it was. I think it might have been Isaac or Jacob, I'm not sure. So Christ Jesus, our God and our Saviour for the human race, to trust and obey, Christ Jesus, God the Heavenly Parent has sent Christ Jesus, according to the Bible reference in the book of Holy Book of John, chapter 8, verse 56, the special moment how God helps the poor. And that is God provided the little, little boy did not find the animal God found the animal that's the special moment behold it doesn't say beware of the dog it says behold say wow be amazed Soak it in like a sponge. The blood of the the blood of the slaughtered, crucified lamb that's going to cleanse the world of sin. And that animal was killed in a friendly way. It was uh, probably had its throat slit and then made it uh, faint, so it didn't feel the pain and drained the blood. So that's the first way of way how God helps to provide to the poor. God does amazing miracles. And number two Bible reference is Genesis chapter so first of all the provision in Genesis twenty two verse eleven and twelve, which is truth to be tested and tried in you and me and in my daughter. The other promise to see if it's going to be proven to be true in you and my, and my daughter, you and me and my daughter, is the vision, the ability to make a goal, a plan and a purpose, an inspiration, a vision. Is it 
true do your plans and purposes involve God or is it only you your ego and the bad angel according to Genesis chapter 22 14 verse that they saw how the sheep was killed So you could have said, if I had to compare the dog and the cat to a goat and a sheep, I would say that the dog is more like a cat, like a goat, and the sheep is more like a cat. Shared personality of their animal personality. So that's the suspense moment. First, it was a special moment where they received the support, the supply, the actual animal, and then it was a suspense moment where they saw how the animal was killed and sacrificed. So the suspense feel of that blood everywhere, and it was truly sacrificed, and the blood was everywhere, bloody, like bloody Mary. Um. So this is the this is the truth that my daughter has as a gift of her life, a brand new birthday date, her ability and her freedom to choose to have a relationship with God and her mum, or she can choose to reject me and reject God. Because if she receives me she will receive God. If she rejects me she will reject God. Because I have a relationship with God, therefore, automatically, that sounds, that sounds robotic. Instantly, immediately, my daughter will be affected because I worship the Creator God and the Creator Jesus. I worship God, the, who is my Heavenly Mom and my Heavenly Dad, who has been there all the generations of my great 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 grandparents so not only do I have my parents but my relatives here and now in my DNA that are closer I have distant relatives going back to Adam and Eve and God was there all this time touching each one of my family members who have not rejected my ancestors who have not rejected God. But sadly, a lot of these authorities are prejudiced, they're against religion, they're against uh, freedom of religion and freedom of speech, they're against uh, illegal migrants who are treated as if I'm an illegal migrant. Um, and it's, it's terrible, there is no regulations, there is no... Um, Vetting, you have to vet racism in the institution, institutional racism and the oppressive legislation through any system, whether that is the work environment, whether that is a, a local hairdresser, whether that is the local education system, none whatsoever. So they get away with it. And the result is devastating that my daughter no longer believes in God and she no longer believes in me because of them. They've dished her out for the past 10 years nearly, lie after lie after lie, and after telling her so many lies so many times, she's going to accept the lie as the truth, the truth as the lie. Which is a horror. Sometimes... to the death of me in my dying day this there is no end to this horror that's how how far fetched how they have taken this too far to abuse my family to for my ex 
husband to use and abuse me and my daughter and to get away with murder with what he has done to be cruel to, uh, the, the, the cruel, to be cruel towards my daughter and to, to abuse her unnoticed, unchecked and no one would ever second guess her no one would ever even they, they didn't do an autopsy they said it was the heart surgery that did it uh, so that's why he died a dignified death no one would ever guess that he actually designed his own suicide by overdosing on pills on the day on the same day that they operated on him and he told only he didn't tell a little mother of him of his he told me and made me feel very little and if that telephone conversation was recorded then I have the evidence that he actually designed his own suicide no one would have ever guessed to me anyone who commits suicide is guilty instantly is a representative of the devil even when tortured I had been tortured I have been tempted to do self-harm I had never done self-harm when I told my psychiatrist that they were overdosing me could they reduce the dose they ignored my request I said I'm being tempted to do self-harm tempted is not the same Talking is not the same as doing something. So it was as if I was, my spirit was dying inside my, it was like my body was dying and my spirit was trapped in my body, totally paralyzed because they overdosed me with psychiatric drugs, which lasted for six years afterwards. I couldn't sue them, I couldn't take the NHS to sue them for what they've done. My daughter was two years old when they did, they did that. I had been breastfeeding her for two years, so I was uh, sleep deprived as it was, which is torture, plus another two years of them injecting me with psychiatric drugs. That's four years of sleep deprivation, plus four years of no menstrual periods whatsoever. Plus 16 years of social isolation and demonization of me and finding a way to incriminate the totally innocent individual who is me only because some racist lunatic out there who's paying his taxes and who has police officer friends to open his mouth and does his whistle blowing as a morally, morally uh, upright thief that he is kidnapper if it's not him then it's his women in the background that are doing this to me they're not more beautiful than me they have no more personality than me they have no better character than me they have no more intelligence than me they have nothing compared to me I'm a ten times better person compared to all of them together because they love lies and they sell lies to kidnap children that's how evil they are they're not even people they're evil warmongers zombies leaving dead boasting in their stupid cars I know worshipping, sex worshipping and their stupid children going around popping, popping fireworks. I'd rather pop pocket, I'd rather pop rockets up their assholes instead of stupid fireworks. Which frighten the animals. They have no consideration from anybody else except for their stupid these living dead zombies that so everybody else is normal or half decent has to suffer because of them suffer 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 says the neo-nazis majority 
poo in England. Bulls poo. If it's not near Nazis in England, then it's near Nazis in Germany. If it's not near Nazis in Germany, then it's near Nazis somewhere else in Europe. There's near Nazis everywhere. And I'm sick of them. Not human. So this is my testimony of trial and tribulation in the name of God, in the name of Yah, against child kidnappers, against false witnesses, against slags and oversexed, as against pimps, against these so-called professionals who are no professionals and no people telling me to sit in my place or to be removed. I will sit in the place I choose and that is my Jesus. I will sit in the place of authority and honour that is my Jesus. Not in the chair of ridicule and condemnation and your warped and twisted judges I will not sit there I pray I pay and I pray for my privacy that I have human rights more so for religious people compared to the non-religious people they have no right for privacy it should be their house that's turned upside down, not mine. It should be that married prostitute below me. I don't care if she's black. She has sex every night with her disgusting bull. Pulling everywhere. I'm against married couples that put their noses into single women's lives. Their noses should be cut off and told to mind their own business. It's 11 o'clock at night. I'm awake. Hallelujah. My religious freedom, not yours. My England, not yours. I am outraged. They say slavery is finished. Slavery is not finished for my daughter. Slavery is not finished for me until the enemy dies and is buried and not buried and he's stinking out there like a piece of shit. Stinking out there like a piece of poo on the ground that no one wants to clear. Unburied. Dead corpse, unburied. That's what they deserve. These perverts of justice, obscurants of justice, including these evil authorities up there on top who are playing God and taking God's job. It's my war. It is dysfunctional morons. It's my war, not Putin. It's God's war, not Putin. If God decides it's World War Three tomorrow, who are you to stop it? Pervert! You don't deserve to live. Your children don't deserve to breathe. Pervert! That's it. I've completed my outrage. Very angry. Even though I'm weak and exhausted, I have said what I needed to say. The slaves should have their own Republican country. 
we should be more respected compared to the non-religious. All of us who have been persecuted and punished without a crime should be esteemed, have rewards, have special treatment because we are more special than you. You evil liar. You evil thug. You're no different than Putin. At least he knows how to repent. You evil, evil thug. Call them communists. Call them capi greedy capitalists. Call them whatever you want. A tyrant is a tyrant. At least Putin knows how to repent. At least he knows how to cry. He won't even cry. Disgusting flag. And your bull. Your bullshit that's sitting everywhere. At least he can cry. And that stupid song on the radio that says men don't cry is rubbish. Take it down. Real men cry. Real men cry. You won't get married. May God condemn your marriage. May God condemn your children, you evil taxpayers. You evil employed scum. You don't know how to do your job. You don't know how to do your job, you educated scum. You don't know how to drive. You don't know how to walk. You don't know how to talk. You living dead zombie. Your police state crap. Your police state crap. Because they have an authoritarian position, it does not make them right. It does not validate their democracy. In the name of Queen of England! What democracy is that? It should be democracy in the name of God! that gives me freedom, not Queen of England, for God's sake. So I'm being scrutinized in the public, by the members of the public, I have opened up my staff, my persecution, in the name of Queen of England, in the name of the education system, in the name of whatever else. There is a civil, a civil, you got people killing each other, murdering each other, is that civil? I don't think so. You've got people murdering and killing each other, is that right? In the name of the taxpayer and the corrupt police officer,
children, I don't respect their community. I respect all people that have suffered for their truth. I respect all people who do what they say they're going to do and do it. So I can rely on who I can trust and depend on in times of trouble. There is no one to watch my back. You attack the orphan and the widow. May your house be turned upside down forever. Your children and their children and their children after. You evil thug. Evil. Evil. Like I'm burying my own grave here for the enemy to shift on, pee and vomit on my grave. Surrounded by the stupid majority in the name of Queen of England! And who else? A master! Created by a corrupt government! Overthrow the government! Not your England! It's my freedom! My freedom! Not Mel Gibson! Not Mel Gibson! Evil Antichrist! Christ killer! Murderer! Stay! Murderer! Stay! Christ killer Mel Gibson! You shitty, shitty, shit! Disrespectful copycat! A big cat that's gonna turn into a pussy! against Mel Gibson and his film of The Passion of the Christ against him when I said I liked him it was sexualized and it was this it was it was turned wrong when I had put it right to say I respect him I like the celebrity the evil people said it was sexual you evil pervert All the celebrities are the same. They're antichrist, they're westernized, westernized to be antichrist. I pray that Asia, in the name of God, in the name of Jesus, will accept my Jesus. I pray Asia, Russia, all the Asians will come to respect my Jesus. All of them will come to praise God in the name of Yah. All of the Muslims will come to respect Jesus in the name of Yah. Against the godless perverse generation. Against the whore. Against the witch. God kill the witch. You stinky, stinky bitch. My message is complete. I approve this message. 